This week on A Dream Called Marai, we are back in business after the madness that started on the 9th of July. Our focus is on storage. What will go where? I am not someone who travels light, so Marai will need a lot of storage to be able to accommodate the contents of my handbag. We also meet a happy client who used East Coast Scratch and Dent to recondition his beach buggy. This and so much more, do not go anywhere, episode 42 is up next. Episode 42. Um, if I were to say we had a cuck time last week, I would be, yeah, putting it very mildly. But we are back here. We're back with Mariah, and mm. she's just been parking here oblivious as to all the goings on. Uh, this week, I'm going to still touch base with Brahm and uh, see what the guys are going to be doing. While I'm telling about Brahm, he's one of the guys from our community who manned sort of the blockades or checkpoints in the entrances to our villages 24 7 so kudos to him and a few of other guys from east coast scratch and dent who looked after us in these tough times but right yeah let's get back to building a motorhome building a motorhome from a bus two weeks ago we cut a perfectly good front runner slider system into two Rocky is now busy finishing the two sliders off so they can be installed in the area underneath our bed, which will be a fixed bed in Mariah's rear. Rocky has already welded a cover on the slider that holds the plastic ammo cases. I've dropped off a whole lot of camping equipment uh, which we will need to store in Mirai and uh, this is things like a dome tent, a gazebo, tables uh, and this is the stuff that we want to pack in the storage space which will be under the bed but access from the outside and uh, which is on the second sliding system that Rocky's busy designing. Why are we going to take this is if my kids want to come join, join us they're going to sleep in the tent because Mirai is a two sleeper. Rocky's talents are many. He did all the cabinet work inside this classic combi that has come in for a bit of work. This is not the style I envisage in Marai, but it is reassuring that a competent guy like Rocky will be involved in the interior installations. While everybody was burning and pillaging and looting, um, Take A Lot managed to deliver my four plate cooker, which is a smeg. We're not messing around here, Brett and my little oven uh, which came a while ago and uh, we can now put them in position and see exactly what measurements are going to be needed for um, a slide out hatch unfortunately the guys i was going to order the sliders from they well man they were looted their, their factory destroyed in durban they were in the river horse area uh, but they are still open for business and they said they can order them from Joburg. So i will definitely support them because i think uh, anybody who took a hammering you know in this terrible time needs to be supported uh, yeah something across all industries something else that snuck in under the radar during the riots was Mariah's new shoes that were fitted onto her new rims and man oh man they are stunning Andy from Total Wheel Rebuild in Pinetown really did save the day regarding our rim saga you know it's quite unbelievable um, when I stand here and I look at Mirai, I'm not kidding you when I say my heart misses a beat. Um, there's this picture starting to build and it's uh, sort of like there's this excitement in the pit of your stomach. You can feel the butterflies and then the picture is really, it's starting to become real. And yo, oh, time, time, time. But damn it, uh, I can't wait. I just cannot wait. Someone whose wait for their vehicle is over is local businessman Peter Brereton. His beach buggy underwent an East Coast scratch and dent extreme makeover. Peter, yeah, tell us a little bit about this buggy. You mentioned you've had it for a while. Well, we've had it for about 25 years. Bought it for five grand, restored it, sold it, bought it back, restored it. And then it was totally in pieces. And we bought it to Brom and uh, it's been a mammoth project. But look at the outcome. Yeah, I was about to say, you're happy. 
Oh, I'm extremely happy that yeah. uh, it's going to be buff still and uh, we still have to go take it for a drive. Eh? This is how you celebrate seven months of waiting, boys. It's going to be a jaw, but we're going to do it quickly. Peter then proceeded to gross us out. Nothing like a cold lager mixed with a bit of foot rot. Wow! One day, one day that's going to be me driving Mirai out of here. One day. I'm a whiskey man and there's no way I will drink my scotch from a shoe. Kind of gives Johnny Walker a new meaning. Right, let's get back to our storage system. Rocky stole this queen size bed frame from his house for Mirai. This means his girlfriend Jess is sleeping on the floor and she is not happy. This is a, a frame for a queen size bed. One of the sliders has uh, just been put underneath and then this one here is a little bit taller than the other one or higher and it's going to go there. Uh, size wise it's looking uh, might be challenging but as uh, Rocky says we'll make it fit. It is crunch time. I will really be bleak if after destroying a really lacquer like slider system, both halves do not fit. So the guys have put the, uh, the base, the sliding base in the back, just the one. And to me, it looks like it's pretty big. I don't know how we're going to fit the other one in. While it does look tight, Rob makes a plan. Cut it level like that. You see this level here? Yeah. So after a bit of... Uh, measuring and pushing and shoving it works out that Mariah is exactly from the base two meters wide and these draw systems are what 965 yeah 960 and 1965 they're gonna fit Rocky starts to remove the offending steel bars that are in the way a grind here and a grind there and soon the obstacles are out the way Next step will be to cut away the body panels and create the opening from which the slider will extend. However, I had to leave to try and earn some more moolah to pay for all of this. So yesterday afternoon after I left East Coast Scratch and Dent, uh, Rocky and Brahm climbed in and did some uh, serious cutting to Mirai's bodywork, which I missed out on, but Brahm did some good filming work and this is what they did. Rocky cut the body panels away, creating our opening for the slider. Because of my bad back, I have gone the route of having as many storage and work surfaces at a height that I do not need to bend down to in order to gain access. Then it was time to cut the opening for the opposite slider. This one will be a bit bigger than the ammo box system and will hold most of the loose camping gear. A few good thumps and our second access point is done and dusted. Next Rocky's girlfriend Jess's bed is hauled into Mirai to see if it will fit. And fit it does. What makes this so amazing is, is that we will have a queen size permanent bed in our motorhome. Rocky and Brahm lifted the bed to a height that will be able to accommodate both our sliders. Ooh la 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 la. Ooh la la. It is only fitting that Rocky is the first person to drape his skinny body across Mariah's bed. That's it for this week. Um, it's been a great week of cutting and pasting and uh, one can get a good idea now of what we're looking at inside here, how the storage is going to work. So things are happening and I tell you what, we are going to have one hell of a motorhome. Next week we start to look at storage of a different nature, electricity storage. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We are also on Twitter. You will find us under A Dream Called Mirai. Until next time, keep safe and keep your dreams alive.